I really don't want to strangle the Fed meeting. Son of a bitch. Never mind. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'll keep the... F but we just blew out the collar. Um, are they rolling it? Is anyone seeing the uh, options flow right now on this? Because we moved up through 4065 way too fast there. Oh, I can sell off my 4090s now. There's no leak. How the f*** are our stocks not going up? Internalization? Bullish, though, applying pressure? Yeah, it is. It's it's good. It'd be awesome if Upstart and Jimmy both closed the day above VWAP. I can say that much. Biggest I've ever seen MOC, 7.2 billion buy side. It's it's massive. <laughs> SPX halts into close. Care to verbalize VWAP for Upstart and GME? Oh, sorry. Uh, Upstart VWAP is at 18.59, which it's currently trading at. GME is 21.68. So above the 18.50 and the 21.50 strikes. Can SPX halt? Yeah, but only under a few conditions. Most of which you probably hope you never see. 7.2 billion buy side market imbalance today per Bazinga. OPEX is saved. Maybe. There's no limit up halt for SPX. Nope. This train has no brakes. All right. Upstart through VWAP. GME getting close. Man, this is just, it just keeps going. I, I don't know if it's going to stop. This is like a f squeeze. Like, the amount of momentum is insane. The consolidation's already turning back around. It's staying, ma like, futures are staying massively overbought. That's the Chawler? Yeah, but we don't, we don't see the order yet, so we don't know. It looks like it. The quick drop into into a big spike like this definitely looks like a roll on the collar, but we don't have the we don't have the data yet. It could be a different collar. It may not be as big a one. Jesus Christ, the volatility. GME above VWAP. That was a big imbalance. If that's all that was, that might be one of the harder moves I've seen on the SPX of like the last year. At least upside moves, like fifty BPS in less than fifteen minutes. That was the best and worst straddle I've ever bought. It's not done. There's only four minutes left, though. What the fuck is going on right now? Oh my god, Watkins puts. It's not going to be over New York City, is it? You can't see comets from New York City. I remember how we talk about institutions trying and drag the markets opposite of their prediction for events. Careful with this bullishness. I mean, I'm straddled right now. But I also like money. There's going to come a day when the market just doesn't give a fuck what the Fed does anymore because there's no more faith in them to can do what they're supposed to be doing, right? They're just going to run all the way into f close. Where's that lull is this power hour guy? All right, Vix, Vix fell down a little bit. Uh, not much, though. Spy Zero DC is up 200%. You have to stand on top of the BlackRock building to see the comments. 70K volume on 40, 50, 40, 70 calls each for Friday. This is so shady. Okay, I got to close these 4090s. There's no way I'm carrying them overnight. I guess I just hold the straddle. I can't reposition it. I'll I'll roll the puts up. Ah, uh, ding ding. I got some of the puts rolled up to forty seventy, but I didn't fill on all of them. Uh, how much percent did you make on the forty nineties? They went up about sixty three. Yes, some of them stopped out lower. Uh, fifty eight, sixty three. Well, that was that was some crazy. Sh I guess we're seeing the uh, the other side of that interest rate arbitrage realized today. 
That was pretty cool. Uh, fun little SPX MOAS into close. Um, they'll probably try to balance out GME's pricing after hours if they can. Uh, not a lot of volume on this 200 share sell, though. That was uh, definitely interesting. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of this FINRA deferral settlement period. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, if we don't see anything coming in or anything significant um, through the early part of the day, it becomes a greater and greater risk as the day progresses. Um, so make a plan to manage positions or roll out or get more theta. If you're already in some positions that have decent theta, you're probably okay to, you know, wait out the price action, but protect yourself from any potential downside during the Fed meeting, especially with this crazy run tonight. That's about, that's about it. I mean, yeah, we're still waiting for realization of liquidity. But closing above VWAP was uh, very good. That puts them back on the back foot again. Back and forth, back and forth, right? Uh, tips? Yeah, we could take a look at them before I close it all out. What the f*** was that? Woo! <laughs> that was a big, big f trade imbalance and a massive rush of buying on futures. I'd like to see the collar rolled here because then at least it would make more sense. Otherwise, I've got to look into some data. But let's take a look at our tips. So uh, we had we had pulled back up again through the intraday, but you know we are flat now. The trend uh, not entirely in our favor here on the intraday, but on the one day, we're still realizing expansion. It's just kind of slow, and it uh, seems to be a very large. Uh, move over time um with the i mean the majority of it is right here where where we kind of shift but um there's still a very long way for us to go to even even to reach like september liquidity like september etf ftd liquidity levels and a very long way to go to hit something like march but on the on the four hour yeah you can you can see a little more granular data and uh we are we are we are trending trending back the way we want to into close today so uh that rally definitely helped us out um and for upstart you know upstarts upstarts also has expanding liquidity and quite a ways to run but um pressure is a little higher there but yeah we're still moving still moving the direction we want to go into the end of today so this this still looks very good obviously there are break points here that we want to see we're pretty close to one for upstart historically and you know that's going to be at about twenty dollars is where we start to really unlock a lot of liquidity fubo we could look at it it's uh also still going through an expansion um this was august the august run we are pulling back a little bit uh but the etfs are becoming more liquid so this could revert really fast this is way more liquid than upstart or gme so the tips aren't as valuable here we have other indicators we use but it doesn't look bad i mean uh the pullback today was very tiny we can reverse direction that's about it all right well thank you guys for tuning in uh keep an eye out for earnings tonight um there's some big ones i think we have uh who are the important ones tonight um uh, i think we have amd Right, and then we have Snap. Are those the big ones? Yeah, AMD and Snap are going to be the important ones.